Many thanks to Joe Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Black Knight, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. Dizzy 1.17 has added many new ways for us to keep warm in this patch, but it's also added several alternatives to get the life-saving heat buffer stat. So in this video, we're going to explore all the new ways to warm up and get this heat buffer stat easier while comparing the new fire broom to the now incredibly powerful tool. <laughs> If you have absolutely no idea what the heat buffer stat is, it's this plus symbol that appears next to your temperature stat. This plus icon or heat buffer stat is activated when you're near a heat source that can give you the heat buffer stat, of which there are now many in 1.17, and you're not too cold. These are the only two requirements to get the heat buffer stat. This heat buffer stat then acts as a buffer to reduce a significant change in temperature from say going from land to water, or having wet clothes, or going from inside a building to outside a building. At its core then, it protects you from extreme extremely cold temperatures that can drag your temperature stat down and as a result protects you from losing health and energy from having a temperature stat that's in the dark blue. This is a dangerous area to have your temperature because it will kill you eventually, making it a life-saving stat worth taking advantage of where possible, especially if you're an Amalsk fan. Now on Vanilla Chernarus in 1.16, the only way to get this life-saving heat buffer stat was to make a fireplace and sit next to it for several minutes in some cases, which is a time-consuming task that gives away your position and literally makes you a sitting duck. However, in Daisy 1.17, you can now warm up and get this heat buffer stat from several different sources, making us less dependent on these fireplaces and allows us more freedom to warm up as and when we choose, which is a fantastic change for a game like Daisy. The first method to warm up and get this heat buffer stat in this patch is the gas stove, which obviously needs to be turned on to warm you up and give this heat buffer stat. Which gas container you attach it to doesn't make a difference and once turned on it cannot be picked up until it's turned off again, so you can't use this like a torch. Obviously the gas stove isn't as powerful as a fireplace at giving the heat buffer stat, so you'll need to be right on top of the gas stove to get this, but it will not burn you like a fireplace does. Now as a rule of thumb for getting the heat buffer stat, you need to have a white temperature stat in order to get the heat buffer stat in most cases, so doing this inside a building where it's warmer is the best idea. What everybody likes most about the gas stove is its portability, it only has 12 slots and could be used anywhere and the gas stove was already a great item before this patch, but now that it warms you up while you are cooking, it makes it one of the best, if not the best item in Daisy to stave off cold conditions, because it restores energy from cooking and it restores your temperature stat. The next method to warm yourself up and get the heat buffer stat is from vehicles, and all vehicles in Daisy warm you up when you're inside them, similar to being inside a building. Now, in 1.17, all vehicles give you this heat buffer stat if the vehicle is turned on, but you can get this stat from being outside of the vehicle too. So from testing, there appears to be an invisible heat bubble that expands from the center of a vehicle's cabin, much like it does from a fireplace, and this bubble expands outside the cabin too, over the engine bay, and just outside of the vehicle, so you can get the heat buffer stat from being outside of the vehicle and the heat does not come from the engine as proven here from laying on the Sarkas engine at the back of the vehicle. What I've noticed in this patch too is that the inside of vehicles are not as warm as they were last patch even when turned on so if it's winter on your server you can't get this heat buffer stat unless you have high heat comfort value clothing because like I said you need to be white or higher temperature stat to get the heat buffer stat. Vehicles do not heat up over time and they don't remain hot after being turned on for a while either. This means that driving a car or revving the engine won't heat you up faster or give you the heat buffer stat faster. The car is either turned on and making you warmer, giving the heat buffer stat, or it's turned off and not making you as warm as if it was turned on. Another new source of heat and the heat buffer stat in this patch, to my amazement, is the generator. Add a spark plug, add some fuel, turn it on, and you will get the heat buffer stat but it's about as strong as a gas stove, so you need to be right on top of it to get the heat buffer stat. The spotlight doesn't generate any heat and nor does any other electrical appliance to the generator, and no source of battery powered light will warm you up either. A source of light that does now generate heat though is the torch, which is by far my favorite form of heat in Daisy because you can get decent heat benefits from it while you roam around the map and is very easily crafted. All you need to craft it is a long wooden stick, a sharpened stick, or a regular wooden stick with at least one rag. You get two minutes of heat and light with each rag that you put on the torch, but you can upgrade each rag you put on to last twice as long with fat. So combining the maximum total of six rags that you can put inside a torch, it will last a total of 12 minutes, but if you apply fat to the torch, it will double that time to 24 minutes at a maximum. 
The heat that comes off of the torch is fairly weak when someone else is holding it or when it's on the floor, much like a gas stove. The best way to take advantage of the heat benefits of the torch is by holding it yourself and by doing this you get the heat buffer stat as quickly as you get it from a fireplace in about 45 seconds. So the torch gives out close to if not the same amount of heat that a fireplace gives out but only if you're holding it which is why it's my favourite because it's portable, easy to craft and it keeps you warm. Similar to the torch, but not as good in my opinion, are the new fire brooms, which are essentially just brooms that you set on fire, which is another addition in 1.17. A fire broom will last about 30 minutes as standard and provides the exact same benefits that the torch does, but what makes it worse than the torch is that you cannot refuel it and it becomes damaged while it's burning. This means that if you use the broom as a melee weapon at the same time that it's burning, it will become damaged incredibly rapidly as it has a lower durability value than a stone or the bone knife. While it may get damaged quickly, a fire broom will free shot KO a player, which is exactly what the torch does too, because lighting a torch on fire makes it one of the best melee weapons in DayZ, and that's mainly down to its animations. With the broom, you attack from the side and you attack fairly slowly, but with a lit torch, your punches become freaking fire punches, capable of KOing a target in just 2 seconds or 3 punches and they remain unconscious for 50 seconds because of this. So if you see a player that has the torch in their hands and it's lit, be aware that if they get close to you, they can KO you in just 2 seconds by punching you and that's on nearly every body part, making it quite possibly the strongest melee weapon in the game when it comes to shock damage per second. If that wasn't OP enough, there is no way for the torch or the broom to go out unless you use a container of water on them, so swimming is fine with them, and you can also light them when they're damp and run around in the rain with them, but the devs will probably add a feature in the future that makes them go out. With mechanic changes such as this, there's bound to be some myths that pop up about what can give you the heat buffer stat because not everything in DayZ does. For example, running across the beach with the warmest clothes on in the middle of the day during the summer will not give you the heat buffer stat. It will make you incredibly warm and use more water than usual, but it won't give you the heat buffer stat, nor will stuffing your clothes full of heat packs or other warm items. Eating hot food or drinking boiling water won't give you the buff either, although this does work on some modded servers. Sitting in a car that is not turned on won't too, and the flare and the flare gun don't provide any heat benefits at all. And finally, there is no difference in heat benefits between each of the vehicles, they all warm you up at the same speed and having doors open or completely missing won't make the car any colder. If you want to know more about the changes to melee weapons in this patch such as the fire brooms or the helmet that you can slap people with, I've made a video for that here. Or you can learn about the improvised clothes and how they're going to make us warmer in this patch. Alternatively, if you want to master controlling your character's temperature, I've made two videos here. Thank you very much for watching, let me know your views on the changes to heat buffer stat in this video and have a good day.